Number 54, what frequencies will a 1.8 meter long tube produce in the audible range at 20 degrees Celsius if, letter A, the tube is closed at one end? All right, so check out number 42. I went through a somewhat general discussion about the concepts of, of uh, this chapter. So tube closed at one end. We're going to use the formula that the frequency of the nth harmonic is equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of that uh, sound in air divided by two, excuse me, divided by four times the length of that tube where the harmonics are n is equal to one, three, five, seven. They're all odd. Okay. So basically now what do they tell us? Well, they tell us the length of the tube, right? So we know L and they give us a temperature. What can we find when we know temperature in this formula? Well, we can solve for the velocity, right, of the sound wave. Uh, we have the formula 331 times the square root of T the Kelvin temperature over 273. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a substitution here, right? So we're going to have 331 times and the square root of the Kelvin temperature over 273, all divided by then four times the tube length. All right. Now we don't know what n is, but let's just let's just uh, well we I mean n can be a whole bunch of numbers, right? But let's just solve for this fraction over here. So f sub n will equal n multiplied now by 331 times the square root of the Kelvin temperature. So 20 plus the 273, all divided by the 273. That whole thing divided by then four times the length of that tube of 1.8 meters. So the fundamental, excuse me, so the uh, frequency of the nth harmonic will be equal to n times now 331 times in the square root of 293 essentially divided by 273. And then that whole thing divided by four times 1.8. And then we're going to get now, um, n times 47.6 or so, 47.6, right? So the frequencies we can basically hear uh, are going to work themselves all the way up to the maximum frequencies that we can hear are going to be uh, uh, 20, I think it was 20,000, right? 20,000 hertz or so. So essentially what I now need to do is I want to, they're really all going to be multiples of this number, okay? So n could be equal to one, three, five, seven, dot, 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 all the way to when we get to a value of 20,000 here for the frequency of the nth harmonic. So basically what I can do is solve this for n now. So I can plug in 20,000 since that's the max, n times n 47.6, solve this thing for n, so 20,000 divided by that value. So this is about 419, right? 419 point nine you might round this up now to be 420 but we can't all right this is the maximum threshold of hearing so if we round it up to 420 uh you know it, it we can't hear 420 for if i plug in 420 for n this will exceed 20,000. so we won't hear it so really the max there is it goes up to the 419th harmonic so this is the 419th all right and it's going to be all frequencies within this range when you plug in you know for n when you plug in these values those are all your frequencies obviously and i'm, I'm not going to sit here and and plug in <laughs> right torch you with that plug in about 200 or so uh, some odd <laughs> values right uh, but that would be uh, how we would approach the problem for letter a close at one end and then letter b now it says open at both ends so what do you think we're going to do well we're going to use the alternative formula the frequency of the nth harmonic is equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of air through that particular medium. In this case, it's air, excuse me, the velocity of sound through air, in this case, it's air, divided by two times L, where L, where N can now be, I'm really trying to rush through this, so my apologies, um, one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. So here, let's just simplify this, right? Let's plug in the values. We know we're going to basically have to plug in this exact numerator again, right? So that's 331 times then 20 plus the 273 all over 273 all divided now by two times the length of 1.8 and what do we get now let's see so it's 331 so i'm going to take that answer that i got before which is about 343 is the speed ish right and then divide it now by two times 1.8 so now we get about 95 and basically just double this right so it's going to be about 95.3 ish 95.3 and now we got to find again we got to solve for n basically so plug in the max 20,000 hertz 
is equal to n times 95.3. Find the n value, so 20,000 divided by that value. So it's about 209.9, but again, you get a round down, okay? So n could be a max of 209. So basically, what, we, what we're gonna have, again, 200 some odd frequencies here. The answer would be something like this. It would be F sub N would be equal to N times 95.3, where N can range from one, two, three, dot, 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 all the way to 209. And there you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please help us out by subscribing and hitting the like button, and we'll see you soon. Take care.